everybody how's everybody doing this tuesday thank you for tuning in chantal did a live today and it got a little bit spicy towards the end i'm not going to do a reaction to the entire video i'm just going to do a reaction to the relevant relevant portion of it that i'm pretty much sure will probably be deleted so uh here we go and let me just give you a, the context um teardrop just entered the chat and drama ensued so there you go oh cool <laughs> don't get more cheese no i need a specific kind of cheese very staple very demure <laughs> i'm hungry again i didn't eat that much for dinner because i wasn't that hungry at the time but the season needs more music okay uh I want to end the live with Crazy Frog, and that's it. Okay. <laughs> A quick one, very quick. Oh, yeah, and Glitter Tits has been banging on the Casio with his one finger that's probably calloused, I'm sure, by now. Thinking he's the shit, but not. So what would she say? Leave her alone. Crazy Frog. <laughs> Sorry, we have to go through this to get to the good part. And by the way, uh, Glitter Tits Salah, you have no idea how to play the keyboard, the Casio keyboard, and you can't even play by ear because you are so out of tune, it's ridiculous. You suck. By the way, a Teardrop enters the chat and she's blocking and deleting comments and timing people out. Not even not even for saying anything mean, but for trying to hold Chantal accountable for certain things as far as like her diet or even like a question. There was somebody that was uh, had asked a question about shaving your legs in Islam. Deleted. Blocked. Boo. Honestly, everyone like who comes after teardrop is getting blocked. So, and Nixie got blocked for making that karate joke comment. <laughs> it kind of makes me wonder: like, is teardrop is that actually her picture, or is there some other relationship between Chantal and teardrop? Because she protects teardrop ever so fiercely. I wonder why. I have a question about that relationship. I don't want any stupid people in here, and only stupid people would like, hold me responsible for Karate Joe. Like, give me a break. I don't do background checks on everybody in my chat. Like, I think the problem people have with Karate Joe was that it wasn't just somebody in your chat. It was somebody that you had a friendship offline with, Chantal, uh, that you video chatted with, and whatever else you did with him. I don't even know. And he's not the only one. I believe that you also had a friendship with another uh, PD file or uh, what was his name? Dragon Lord Frodo. That's another uh, creep that you also had a friendship as well with. Y'all don't keep the same energy for Yabba, though, who slept with a pedophile, right? Oh, wow. So shut up. My dog killed two kittens. She never ate them. Ah, OK. I see. First of all. I don't I don't know the ins and outs of whatever happened with that uh, as far as that case. But from what I've listened to, from what Yaba has said, she wasn't even with him when all this stuff happened. So you're not responsible for uh, an ex-husband or ex-fiance, ex-boyfriend, however you want to say it, for their behavior after the fact. That has nothing to do with Yaba. That has nothing to do with her children. Whatever, it's sad. It happens. Like, are y'all? It's not her, Teardrop's fault, and y'all are not saints. So, 
whatever. Right, babe? Right. We're honestly sick of the trolls, actually. They don't make the chat fun anymore. When you reach a certain age, it's just uh, annoying. So, goodbye. Oh, all of a sudden, she's mature. Yeah. Like, you know, just yeah. Look, just look. Shut up, Salah. Any negative people, um, mods can delete. Oh, now all of a sudden, they they have the option of deleting. But I thought they could yeah, have. Bullshit. But now they can't. <laughs> I'm sure you do. No, yes. No negative in the chat. Thank you, guys, for understanding. Yeah. Yeah, she is responsible, M. Fury, because she named her dog. They were defended him after they knew what happened. Are you going to tell me that being with someone for all those years and having kids with them, you never knew, and that's the first time they offended? Please give me a break. Okay, you know what else? You want to you want to say some shit like that, Chantal? You know what you're responsible for? I'm not going to mention any names, but there's a certain uh, rapist in Canada that's not... I don't even know. Is he a naturalized citizen now? I don't even know. I'm not going to mention his name. That you drove to the hotel. He sexually assaulted a woman, and I believe you drove him from the hotel back home and i believe that's one of the reasons why you fled to kuwait because you didn't want to be a witness in that trial because also what you did and it's on tape is that you were trying to give him a false alibi to the popo so to me you're a dirtbag chantal you're far worse than anything you try to say that yaba did yaba didn't do shit but you did all hypocrites. Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> and then blame me for Karate Joe, but go and kiss Yaba's ass when she literally has three kids with someone who sexually assaulted a child and named her dog after him. You know what? And I have and a question. Glowing. And I have a question for you, too. I'm kind of like oh, the the hatred that you have towards women and children. Can I ask you a question, Chantal? When you were a child, did your mommy not protect you from somebody? Maybe a, a certain alcoholic uh, that is related to you? Did something happen between you and this alcoholic and mommy didn't protect you? Is that why the hatred, uh, that, that's why you have such hatred towards women and women not protecting their children? Can you answer that question for me? Glowing obituary. Wow. She got a tattoo of his name? Nice. Say what you want about mine, but... You have a, t you, excuse yeah. me, uh, you are a fake Muslim and you have a tattoo of two women a lesbian couple kissing right above your titty so uh yeah go show that out in Kuwait Cat C they named it after a pe pedophile that's what the matter is goodbye see you anyone else want to support that I'd love to block you yeah and you gave a false alibi to a rapist what about that that's currently mm. going to try crazy frog can't save this one you guys are the mood killer I'm not the one bringing this shit up this is why I hate lives. Like, this is this is ridiculous. It's my channel, and I have to, like, put up with this shit? No, I want all of these people out of here. I don't care if there's only, like, 200 people in my fucking chat left. I don't care. Even if 100. Yeah, we don't give a shit. Oh, we don't give a shit. Okay. She got a kid diddler's name on her body, marked for Eva. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, blocked pineapple. What, are you mad you're not getting diddled? That's your problem. Bye, Mike. See ya. <laughs> Who else? Letters. You too. I think you're always negative. So goodbye. <laughs> and what makes you Thank so you. vile is that these children, um, that's their father, and you want to talk about it in this manner. It doesn't matter. That's none of that's none of your concern, John Dahl. Like I said, you are far worse than anything anybody else has ever done on this channel, in my opinion. Uh, you gave a false alibi. You drove them to the hotel. You drove them from the hotel. And you fled to Kuwait because you don't want to testify. Anyways, that's all I have to say about this crap. Uh, I'm biting my tongue because she pisses me off. So I'll see you when I see you. Bye.